help somewhere in the interior. Mm -hmm. So that category of people, again, it was our understanding they provide them a ticket. Right. And then they drop the Border Patrol person. provides them a ticket. That's what we were told, and that's what I understood. With what we learned, we went to the border in search of illegal crossings. We spotted a Border Patrol unit tailing us, so we pulled over to the side to see if it actually was following us, and indeed it was. No longer being pursued, we headed to South Padre Island on a side mission. Earlier this year, InfoWars had tested radiation levels on the U.S. West Coast. And since the immigration story had brought us to the Gulf Coast, we decided to test that as well. During the trip, we had been in contact with an ICE agent who was eager to blow the whistle on practices in his organization. His report revealed chilling health concerns. What are you guys doing to help uh keep the diseases or the sickness to a minimum. Are you guys giving them any type of uh, medication in your facilities? Absolutely, yeah. If, if uh, whoever is uh, going to be detained, uh, they, they go through a lengthy, a lengthy screening process, mm -hmm. through chest x-rays, check for tuberculosis, uh, things of that nature. And uh, they're treated, they're treated. And typically, let's say for example, a person with tuberculosis will not be released until, until either A, the treatment, the treatment uh, is completed, or B, they can uh, get together with, with the country of uh, the person where they're from and uh, get with medical there and make sure that they can continue to take their treatment when they upon return to their country. What's the most common illness that you see coming from these Central American countries? We do get our isolated cases of people with uh, tuberculosis, uh, there may be a couple that, that come through that that they admit to having uh, a communicable disease. But I mean, really, we don't check for, we don't check for communicable diseases. You know, we, we don't, that's not part of the screening process. Later, our search took us to Brownsville, Texas. We tried to talk to the public information officer at the border crossing, but he refused to comment on camera. He told us to put in a media request that would be responded to within 21 days. While I was conversing with the PIO, a rifleman was dispatched to deal with the rest of our crew as they were filming the checkpoint. I just want to report some illegals. This guy has a gun. This guy's a assault rifle. Our original mission to film illegals being transported to bus stations had exceeded beyond our expectations. We even found out that FCC controlled media had followed in our footsteps in McAllen. We headed home, but with one last checkpoint separating us from Austin, the security theater was impossible to avoid. Like the TSA, Border Patrol screens at mandatory checkpoints. It seems like the individual agents use their own discretion to judge who and who is not on the level. InfoWars reporter John Bound decided to tell the Border Patrol that if they really wanted to do their jobs effectively, he had a few suggestions on where they could find illegals. Hi, how you doing? Hey, uh, I just want to make you aware of the fact that uh, the organization you work for, the Border Patrol, yes. It's funding illegals coming into our country completely illegally. Are you aware of that? I am aware of that. We got to talk to somebody else. We got chased around by Border Patrol because we're American journalists. Now, uh, Border Patrol is part of an illegal act against the American people. I'm not some whack job. I just want to bring it to your attention and, and let you know that you may run into more people like me. You can find more reports at InfoWars.com. To those of you in the audience who are business people, pretty simple. If you're paying $12, $13, $14 an hour for factory workers, pay a dollar an hour for your labor, have no health care, that's the most expensive single element in making a car, have no environmental controls, no pollution controls, and no retirement, and you don't care about anything but making money, there will be a giant sucking sound going south. Now you just heard Ross Perot talking about NAFTA. That was 20 years ago. I want you to listen to what David Petraeus said last week about NAFTA. America comes North America. Are we on the threshold of the North American decades? Question mark. Uh, I threw that away, threw away the question mark, and boldly proclaimed the coming North American decades as the title now. It's founded on recognition that if you 
put these three economies together, as has been the case 20 years into the North American Free Trade Act implementation, uh, you find unique uh, countries in terms of demographics. Yeah, you find unique demographics. He goes on to talk about how this is the only area where demographics are going up. Well, that's because the borders have collapsed. And of course, that question, I don't know if you caught that at the very beginning, the question that he was answering in that conference was, after America, what next? And his answer was North America. And he made no bones about the fact that he considered to be NAFTA and a North American Union to be an accomplished fact 20 years ago. Americans, by and large, didn't get that message. Are they getting it now? Are they getting it now that the borders are being collapsed, that they're creating a demographic tension, a surge that we cannot support? It's a new kind of surge coming from General Petraeus and other global elitists. Stay with us. We're going to be right back, and we're going to be talking about the police state USA with Cheryl Chumley in the next hour. This hour brought to you by InfidelBodyArmor.com. When it hits the fan, don't be left without the body armor that will save your life. With prices starting at just $374.99 and ships free. Get yours at InfidelBodyArmor.com. Just won't quit. Hi, Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. Is it time to convert paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver yet? Get our 10 Reasons book free. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. You've talked about it for a while. Now it's time to get your family the emergency readiness pack it deserves. And there's one site to turn to, TopPackGear.com. From large to small, you'll find kits for every purpose, and all of them can be customized by you. TopPackGear.com offers the best pre-built packs the Internet has to offer. Assembled using only high-quality products vetted by pros and chosen for the best balance of quality and value. Prepare, endure, prevail with TopPackGear.com. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. Most people know that iodine deficiency has been a crisis around the world. Iodine is key to so many of the body's functions, especially the thyroid. I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, and the best part is it helps fund InfoWars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off super detox special at InfoWarsLife.com. If you're worried about your health and you're tired of the nasty side effects of harsh drugs or antibiotics, then look no further. Supernatural Silver is the answer. Supernatural Silver is a powerful immune system enhancer that can be used every day to help keep you healthy and well with none of those nasty side effects. It's extremely safe for use internally as well as topically. And Supernatural Silver is hundreds of times more effective than colloidal or ionic silver. It is perfect for use in the sinuses, eyes, ears, and on any wound or skin issue. Supernatural Silver is also extremely effective when taken orally and can help fight off bacteria, viruses, and mold that may be overwhelming your immune system. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code SILVER over 2014 for 20% off of your entire order and give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance with Supernatural Silver. I was a highway man along the coach roads I did ride. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight and we've been talking about a variety of issues. The police state as well as the collapse of our borders and understand that those are both being run by the same agency, Homeland Security, that was created in the wake of the 9-11 attacks. Destroying our civil liberties, destroying the borders, militarizing our police. And in the next hour, we're going to be talking to Cheryl Chumley. We sell her book, uh, Police State USA, at InfoWarsStore.com. We're going to talk to her about this. She says that our rights come from God and not government. And she goes back to the Declaration of Independence. But she unpacks in this book 
how we got to where we are. And we're going to talk to her about some possible solutions as well. So don't miss that. It's coming up in the next hour. This hour has been brought to you by Survival Shield X2 and Fluoride Shield. Two bottles of our best formulas for 30% off and our super detox special for a very limited time while supplies last. Or get the fluoride out with our fluoride shield formula by itself for 25% off at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. And also, we just got in this week uh, these new Molon Lave uh, belt buckles that look fantastic. Uh, limited edition, just 500 of those. Now, there's a lot of news breaking. We had the Supreme Court decision today finally getting behind unanimously the Fourth Amendment. I don't know, you know, when they swear allegiance to the Constitution, wouldn't you think that they would uh, be able to understand uh, that you don't search people without a warrant and their person, their places, their houses, their effects. And yet that's what we see with the police state. That's what we're going to be talking to Cheryl Chumley about. It's been a long time coming. The justification has, for the longest time, been the, I think, unconstitutional war on drugs itself. You know, you had to have a constitutional amendment to have alcohol prohibition, and then another constitutional amendment to take it away. And we only got, that's about 10% of the uh, constitutional amendments we've got. Where was the constitutional amendment that prohibited heroin or cocaine or marijuana? Where did we have those constitutional amendments? Where did the government get that power? You know, when they passed the prohibition uh, constitutional amendment for alcohol prohibition. We had a government then that respected the rule of law. They were wrong when they did alcohol prohibition. It had all of the wrong consequences. All it did was increase crime. It gave organized crime a black market monopoly. It increased drug use. It increased the intensity of, the, of alcohol at the time. And we've seen all of those things happen with the war on drugs, except we've seen many consequences that are far, far worse than that. We've seen them using this, not only has it increased in intensity, not only has it in increased organized crime, but they have now taken the position where, beginning with Reagan, with his zero tolerance, and he took the strategy that he would go after the end user, something they never did during alcohol prohibition. And of course, the war on drugs has now gone on for decades. What is happening with that? Well, that's been one of the major things that's been pushing people out of Central and South America into the United States. We see an article today that the real push, what's pushing the people into the United States is crime in their country and the implication that they're going to be able to live here uh, free and under the state. That's why Obama has sent that message out to them. But the other thing that is pushing them, so there's a poll of amnesty of a carefree existence at the expense of American taxpayers that we cannot afford to do. It will collapse this country's economy. But the thing that's also pushing them is the plague of violence in their country. Look at how many people have died just in Mexico. Well over 100,000 by most estimates. This is far worse in terms of violence than what's going on in Afghanistan in terms of casualties. And yet, that is a policy that is being done, promoted by the United States. That's what's pushing them in here. That's what's been pushing the police state. But now they've got a new method to build the police state. And that, of course, is the fear of terrorism. So we're going to be talking in the next hour to Cheryl Chumley about Police State USA, a book that is available at InfoWarsStore.com. Stay with us. We'll be right back. The Genesis Communications Radio Network. General, what do you think about the FBI saying that there's a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation? The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks. I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security while sticking their hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.tv is designed to do. You watch the Assad regime is going to be blamed or accused of using chemical weapons against the so-called rebels. What we see now is a war against reality. It's a war against the truth. It's more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership with up to 11 friends and family. Visit InfoWarsNews.com today. Become a member, share your membership, and help take the InfoWar to the next level. <laughs> 